What's up YouTube? Tenchi Arizona, the angry Dracolope of the Jackalope crew here, and I have a first impressions video for you today. And it is a first impressions of this. The CRKT Noma Compact, which is a Voxnase design. Again, I'm using the large lighting setup, so hopefully you can see the texture along the handle scales. A nice looking texture, but it doesn't provide much traction, I will say that much. Secondly, the pocket clip is tip up or tip down, right hand side only. I would have liked to seen this being fully ambidextrous in regards to the pocket clip. It is a lock back design. And the blade steel on this is 8CR13 MOV. No thumb studs, as you can see, it just has a nail nick in the blade. I'll get a bit closer to the camera and hopefully show that. But yes, that is one minor thing I have against this blade. It's nothing really major because there's plenty of blades to grab. So, blade length is, I'd say, Probably two and a half to three inches max. I haven't got a tape measure or a ruler near me, so I can't give you an exact measurement right now. If I remember, I'll put the exact measurement in the description below. A Skinner type blade, I would say. Very nice in handling, although there is not much traction, as I said, on the handle scales. And for me, that's a bit of a downside. But it is not a deal breaker. I'm sorry I looked down there, I had to see where my camera control was so I didn't put my elbow on it and stop the recording. So I'm going to do a few cut tests now because I'm going to try and make this video as quick as possible. Standard junk mail coupon sort of stuff first. And if I get the blade lined up properly, yeah, it's pretty sharp. Uh, not the sharpest blade, obviously. I have had way better edges than this, but it does cut. <laughs> so, yeah, it cuts okay in my opinion. But, yeah, this is just coupon card. You see it snagged a bit there. So there is clearly a dull spot on this blade. Which... Honest, which honestly, a dull spot on this blade, I would not really expect it because I haven't used it at all yet. But that's not a major problem, I can easily strop this blade up later. And that was just coupon card, let's see how it contends with just plain paper. Yeah, still a bit of a, tears a bit, bit of a ragged cut to be honest. But nothing I can't fix by running this over a ceramic rod or a strop. Yeah, you can see where it's snagging there. It's snagging down here. So at the base of the blade, not very sharp at all. The tip is even worse. As you can see, the cut is not exactly clean on this knife so yeah so based on first impressions overall the design of the knife I do like I do like the blade shape I do like the fact that it is quite comfortable to hold even with the pocket clip because the pocket clip doesn't really kick up much at the end and your finger actually rests behind where it kicks up, at least in my case it does. Lock back design, very strong lock, and the dual position pocket clip. But yeah, the edge leaves a little bit to be desired. I'll just grab another bit here. Yeah, the edge is a little bit on the rough side. So although it does cut, it does not cut as clean as I would like. 
and it does snag up in a few spots. You can see there. And I'll give you an example of a better edge. On this, the Cold Steel Pro Light. See the difference there? That's the Pro Light and the Noma Compact. The Noma Compact has a considerably rougher edge. It's by no means blunt, but yeah, having dull spots on a brand new blade is really not ideal. As I said, I can easily fix it up. A couple of runs on a ceramic rod and a leather strop. And that should be as sharp as the cold steel. Again, it is a lot back design. But yeah, first impressions on this, if I was going to give it review scores, I would give it three stars. Why three stars? Well, for one reason, the lacklustre cutting edge. And for the second reason, the single position, well, single side pocket clip. Two position, but only on the right hand side. As opposed to the Cold Steel Pro Light, which is still a double position clip, do a uh, double position clip, excuse my stumble in there but it's tip up left and right hand carry. I would have preferred if the Noma Compact only had the tip up position and had it left and right hand carry instead of having it right hand carry only, tip up or tip down. So that's why. On first impressions, I'm gonna give it three stars. Anyway, that's all for now. If you like it, like it, please subscribe, comment and share. And remember, be good to each other.